Good morning, welcome to a new video. This video, as I said in the previous one, is gonna be all about bridal shower, bridal shower prep, and I'll show you a day of how everything looks. I'm speaking it into existence now, it's all gonna go great, it's gonna look beautiful, and I'm gonna be overall very satisfied and happy, more than satisfied with the results, <laughs> speaking it into existence, but we'll see it all occur in this video together. Quick recap of where we're at in terms of supplies and starting the prep. This is half of the alcohol, I would say. Just forget about the waters here. But I did find these cool pops that they're 7% alcohol and I'll just throw them in the freezer probably the day before. Thought it was cute, something different, but a lot of this is just bottles of Prosecco for the mimosas and then random, do not mind <laughs> the straws that are phallic. And I did get some jello that's vegan because i'm gonna make some vodka jello shots and i'm never able to have them because they have gelatin so hopefully this tastes good this is my first time ever trying it but this will allow me to also be able to partake which is nice because if i'm doing the work i want to partake i did get some pita chips some walnuts for the charcuterie cups some honey sticks for the charcuterie cups and then these individually wrapped mints that i'm going to put on the tables for everyone that kind of match the color so i thought they would look cute and then taking you over here this is where the other half of the alcohol is so you could see got seltzers and some beer some just the 12 pack of modelos this it, two are non-alcoholic so just some part sparkling water yeah baby <laughs> and this one it's called hop water i think it's supposed to taste like a seltzer so i don't know really the difference between that and a regular like sparkling water seltzer so we'll see on that some frescas and some high noons so this should be good and then over here is all the supplies that I have right now, I am going to take the stuff out of the boxes. My mom did get like new towels and cute little Easter towels for the kitchen and for the bathroom. Also a different curtain rug just so the bathroom could also look nice and clean. And I'm going to take everything out and put it on the table just to show you. But overall, this is what we're looking at how we're starting off so i'm starting to take stuff out of the boxes so it's nice and organized and i am starting to wrap the presents for the prices like for the games and i did get six total and i gave myself a budget around like ten dollars per game and i got these three things from target and i'm a dummy because i got these bags thinking a that they were going to be bigger but also i thought it was going to be five of them but i think it was only four of them or actually, yeah, it's five. See, I can't even think, but I did end up using one for my mom for her gift for the bride, which I could show you now, I guess. It's going to just be like a little lingerie set. And she also requested the House Labs. I don't know if it's a mascara or, or a lip gloss. So that's her gift. My gift to her. I have it wrapped also, and it's such an awkwardly shaped bag. But I got her a calendar like a 12 month calendar from shutterfly and i got pictures from the husband um just to send me of them of them too so i started it june which is the day like the month of the wedding so from june 2023 to june 2024 and then i did get her underwear and bra from skims and then for these other three that i already wrapped one of them is a candle so also under the ten dollars another of them was like a notebook and pens and then this one was too big so i put it in this bag and it's a plain white blanket that i got from ross and moving back to these so all of these again were under ten dollars i want to say maybe one was like eleven dollars but i thought this was cute just a little bird's bees kit this is supposed to be okay it's like body so body scrubs and all that and this one is bigger than i thought it was gonna be honestly but it's a shea butter hand cream a big body cream and a lip so i'm gonna wrap these all up so that's ready i feel like i've done very little but i've honestly been working at it for like two hours but just taking stuff out of the packaging you could see all that just 
all the tedious work basically like taking stickers off of things or placing stickers on things that i don't want to do the day of because it's just going to take so much time and i just want to be quick but i did end up putting things like the props for the backdrop i put all the stickers on them just so they could stand up on the stick i did make sure that all the extras go in this bag because i bought intervals of 50 or sometimes 60 depending on the packaging how it came so like i have extra pens extra stickers cups anything like that's gonna go here so i know exactly where it's gonna be in case i need some and then for the girls that are gonna come help me i decided to put like, the pom-poms the curtains um little like hanging decoration all that will go here so that we know exactly where everything's supposed to be and then what i've been working on now is the mini floral arrangements and i did buy a pack of 100 for pompous grass and these are either 24 or 25 and you could see just like based on my hand they're pretty small but i think they're really cute and they're all different so they kind of look like vintage and i thought of this is not gonna be enough pompous grass but honestly you see like i still have some left so i'm just kind of spreading it out and i think this is gonna look really cute and i did ask my friend to bring floral arrangements so the tables are all gonna have like the main floral arrangement but then throughout the table in between you're gonna get these nice cute little pompous grass ones I just need to make sure that when i place them they're not crazy tall that you can't see across like the table in front of the person that you're sitting so that's gonna be like day up but i'm doing this so they could start stretching a little bit since they came pretty tight and it's so messy to work with i have pompous grass everywhere but this is like a perfect example of something that i could do two three days before and have it ready because if this is taking me like two hours right now i want to do it now and not day of and be super stressed and running late because i need to always consider okay i need time like at least one hour to do my makeup and make sure that i feel like pretty and like all set up so trying to do all that as much as i can right now hello it is friday morning meaning it's crunch time everything has to get done today the goal is basically doing everything except for the balloons have everything ready because balloons are going to start deflating which is so annoying that it has to wait but it has to wait so yesterday i did go to party city and got this electric balloon pump just to make it a little bit easier and then my friend brought her handheld one so hopefully that makes it a little faster and i did get these two ice buckets they're really pretty they're usually in this color so i thought this was gonna be really nice i'm hoping that if i don't scratch them i'm just gonna return them because i'm never gonna use this again so we'll see i'll try to take care of them but this would be nice to put the bottles in there so at the bar you kind of just see these bottles and they're like nicely placed on top of the ice and then all these bowls also from party city like two for the salads just like green salads one for pasta salad another one for the spinach artichoke dip and then this last one is just gonna be for the rings for the put a ring on it game so that should be set and from sam's club i did get this pack of mini cinnamon rolls these madeline cookies which look so yummy and these uh different style of cookies these are the different flavors and when you open them they just smell like actual cake and it's so good and we had a couple <laughs> since it's so many of them it's fine and i love that some of them are pink so it goes perfectly with the theme and i wasn't able to really find like proper charcuterie crackers so i just got this um pack of cliff bars but it comes with 24 packs and each pack has two so it's gonna be 48 which is perfect i think it might be a little strange that they're like sweet flavored but i don't think cliff bars are even that sweet so it should be fine and then coming on over here they did bring the flowers and that's the big big thing to work on today is the floral arrangement but they look really pretty <laughs> excuse me they look really pretty we just wanted to go with an all white theme because we want like the pops of pink and white to kind of go together and it's not all too too pink so it's gonna look really nice there's a bunch of different glass vases over here 
and then the white tablecloths and then all the tables are right here so this is like the behind the scenes doesn't look cute but it's all necessary type of stuff and yesterday i didn't end up recording even though i did actually do a lot i feel like i had a pretty productive day clean the backyard as much as I could and today I'm gonna continue that because once we went to the store and came back I was pretty tired and then my friends came over to bring that stuff so the day just finally like just flew by so just need another round of cleaning and today they are bringing what they call like a naked style tent that's with something like this material almost just a sheer curtain and it should look really pretty it's smaller than the actual space so i hope it's not too small to the point that it makes the space look smaller and cramped so it's really just like trial and error we're gonna have to test it out they are coming in like two three hours so once that's put then i could start putting the tables out there and the chairs they're also bringing the chairs I'm gonna wait for the linens till day of because the dogs, I can't leave anything outside. Oh, and they're also bringing a floral backdrop, which I'll show you with a really pretty neon sign that will say right to be. The dog gonna look really nice. I'm excited. It's finally coming. And I feel like I should have been an event planner. Like that should have been my career focus because I have a really good time planning events and even just like hosting my apartment. So. I'm really excited and I know my friend's excited yesterday she was saying like she's excited about it and yeah like it'll be nice to be able to celebrate her and then just gather all her like friends and family it's gonna be a good time so the day is almost here all right I'm outdoor so there's a lot of noise but big update so they brought the backdrop did ask them to push it up so I just need to remove these two strings and it'll come down and there's a neon sign so it's gonna look really pretty and this is the big tent i was originally gonna do three rows but it happened that two rows fit perfectly and these are gonna come down so it'll be nice and shaded and there's a chandelier in here as well we just put the tables and the chairs so i'm gonna start wiping all of this down and all this is getting cleaned out here so the bar area the food is gonna be on this area, so are the gifts and the desserts. It's gonna look good. Of course, it's the day of. I'm running around like crazy. I don't even remember the last check-in I had with you, but I wanna show you everything. Now that it's kind of done, it looks really pretty, so roll the clip of voiceover. <laughs> I wish I would have had more time to record everything, but I was just rushing to get ready. But here's the desserts table, it looks so pretty. I went with a girl that I found on Instagram and she made like chocolate covered strawberries, different cake pops, and then all the desserts that I bought from the store. Everything was basically finished by the end of it. And where you see that balloon of the ring, I ended up switching up for two jugglers of coffee from Starbucks. And then on the left side, I didn't record when the food was actually placed, but the food all looked really pretty. And here's kind of the look at how the tables themselves look. We put a lot of confetti, so it looked really pretty over the white because the pink really did pop. And I didn't get like that many clips of the flowers, but the flowers also looked really, really pretty. All the little details I feel like just added to it and it all overall looked very elevated. And when you walked in, this is a table that you saw. So you got the ring to play the game. There was a Polaroid camera for the backdrop. And here's the backdrop, so pretty. Okay, my hair appointment was an hour late, so I feel like that just backed me up so much. But I'm finally ready. I wanted to put on eyelashes, but I ended up just putting mascara because there's no time. And this is the outfit. So I'm wearing like spandex under because it's so see-through and also, whew, it was just a lot, but I got this dress from Amazon, really cute. It's the dupe for the House of CB. And my hair, I got it gloss, so it's a little darker again. And just to cut like lots of layers. And I like that this is long sleeve, so it'll be perfect because it's kind of cold. And then these are the shoes that I got from ASOS. So I'm gonna start getting ready. We'll actually go out because people are starting to get here. They actually got here exactly at 2 p.m. So I'm gonna go and tomorrow I'll let you know how everything went. Uh, it is the next day. I'm lying down with my feet up because my body is so sore. Last night when I went to sleep and I lied down, my body just felt so heavy. You know when like you work out a lot or you're just like moving around all day and, and you sit and it all kind of just like comes crashing down on you. 
that's how I felt just having like three four days of prep and like non-stop my back was hurting so much from just like bending over when i was cutting the flowers and like arranging all the vases and then just like all the little prep and then outside cleaning like just a lot of bending down to pick up the trash so like my legs were hurting my back was hurting so it was a like, really good sleep and we went to go pick up frankie this morning and he had a great time so i'm glad that i left him with a sitter overnight because he would have been barking at everyone and just trying to eat everything and there was like confetti so he would have been eating all that so he was playing with another dog so he also had a good time but yeah just to kind of like let you know how the party went i obviously was just like having fun and in the moment and just running around like refilling waters making sure like everyone was all set so i didn't have a ton of time to record the actual party i know it was more of like the prep but it was really fun uh i think everyone enjoyed it i was worried about the food but it was like enough food just like a good amount so it ended up being like two trays of like hoagie sandwiches and some other like pretzel bun sandwich I forgot which one I got from Albertsons and they were like pretty big so you could split them in two for two people and then just like some salads from Sam's Club and then we did end up doing the charcuterie cups DIY and just put like prosciutto um, some other type of meat that looks like prosciutto and uh, salami and then the brie cheese and then walnuts, grapes, a stick of honey and a pickle and blackberries so it was like pretty hefty and they were charging me like seven to nine dollars per cup so the fact that I did them me and my friend like she helped me out it was so much cheaper and it honestly didn't take like that long it's just a matter of prepping it and once the little sticks were ready you just toss them in and then we wrap them individually would make them look much nicer also so that was overall success so food wise was good desserts also were really yummy and we had a ton left over and they all look really pretty so people also enjoyed those and the drinks also like everything was good amount and so I'm glad that I kind of like my worries about like is it gonna be enough is it gonna be too little like it was fine like it all ended up going well and the actual decor everything was really pretty everyone was saying like really pretty they did such a good job on the balloon um towers next to the um backdrop and the video that i took i forgot to turn on the neon sign but then i did turn it on but i was in such a hurry to get ready that i didn't go back to take another video so i didn't get like the perfect shot but it's fine because like i know the pictures that we took the neon sign was on and then later at night the chandelier we turned it on so it looked really pretty and we turned on the little candles around the table so it looked like a nice yellow glow and then at the end so basically how we did the itinerary like we started at two but really like people got here like more most of the people got here like at three and then everyone started eating like 3 30 and then probably like half an hour ish later we started playing the games and those were like nice because i gave people something to do instead of just like sitting around and then we opened the gifts and then we got a surprise stripper for my friend and that was like so last minute i wasn't even sure if it's gonna happen literally messaged them and like submitted my request thursday night and then um they replied within the hour like saying yes and then the next day just wanted to confirm pricing and like timing and everything uh so it did end up happening and that was like around 6 p.m so enough people had left where it wasn't like everyone but it was still like a good amount of people so it was really fun <laughs> uh, it's the first time that like i've done anything like that so it was like funny to see um everyone really did enjoy it. I think it was like a good and like fun wrap up to the party so uh definitely recommend it was a surprise so definitely was not expected and ended up being perfect timing because she was like basically done opening the gifts and the guy came like 10 minutes later so it was perfect timing and i was like trying when people were like leaving once she finished wrapping like like opening the gifts it's like oh like they hang around but it was a surprise literally i only told the bridesmaids and until 
like the moms I didn't tell anybody so it was a nice surprise for everyone and everyone enjoyed it so that was like the nice like cherry on top to wrap it all up and it made it like such a fun event that um it wasn't just like cute like we had our cute little moments but then like okay everyone take shots and it was really fun so that was basically it and then um once we started cleaning like I, I didn't even have to like ask for help like people started helping cleaning and it made it so easy and literally all that was left is just like the little confetti on the ground that we just have to pick up with a leaf blower but everything was like super nice and clean so that made it so nice because today i just kind of sorted like what was borrowed like in terms of supplies um so that's like separated and then the tables and chairs are separated so now it's just a matter of like okay the people that um the vendors that brought the tent just need to come pick it up and that's basically it so that was a bridal shower i'm really glad that we got through it it was very fun like planning it and like actually doing it it's like stress but like good stress and i don't know like me doing the flowers i was just feeling like wow i should do this for not this specifically as a job but i enjoyed like working with my hands and like actually seeing whatever i was working on completed as opposed to just like on my computer <laughs> you don't really feel like that nice like reward but um something like to consider if i'm like gonna look at hobbies or something definitely want to do something like more hands-on i thought it was really fun but hope you enjoyed this video i'm gonna wrap it up here because right now i just want to like relax frankie's also so dead he's sleeping so probably just gonna lie down with him and chill and now i need to start packing because i leave to new york tomorrow so it's all happening really fast so i'll see you in the next video where we're going back to new york city bye